The most enjoyable part was finishing it. It's done. It's finally done. It was a long, long road, something, a direction I hadn't really gone before. And finishing it was a real celebration. I'm done, and I think it holds up, and I like where it all, I like everything that happened, so I'm cool with it. I, I never killed off billions of people before, one or two here and there. One of the hardest parts and the most fascinating was the world building, rebuilding the world after I had shut it down, destroyed it, killed people, and your infrastructure is the first to go. You lose communications, you lose power, uh, food, water. How do, you, how do you get all of those things again? How do you teach yourself to be self-sufficient? You have to figure out how to do all of these things. Uh, and then you have uh, the magical element where people are finding, some people are finding powers within themselves that they didn't have before the doom. Do they go to the dark? Do they go to the light? Uh, and uh, human nature, um, some people are just going to be bad. Some people are still going to be greedy and bigoted and take advantage of other people. Uh, and some people will work to form communities and connections and to make the world a better place. So which side are you going to be on? We are getting close to the 50 bookmark in the uh, In Death series. We'll be coming up on 47. The thing is, well, the long run series, short run trilogy, um, standalone book, it's only one book. And the one book that matters is the one you're writing. That book, you make that book the best book you can. Those characters are familiar to me and to readers who follow it, but the situation's going to be different, the interaction, the connections. So I have this same basic canvas with often the same cast of characters. But there's always, there's always a new way to, way to kill people. And uh, she, has to, she has to find it. Eve Dallas has to figure out who done it or uh, how catch them or whatever every time. My family, they're all readers. I come from a family of readers. I don't remember ever not reading. I don't remember learning to read. It's just always, I just always remember reading. I do remember when I was maybe eight or something, around that age, my oldest brother buying me the Eloise books. And they, they, they have a real, I have a real soft spot for Eloise and Nanny and Weenie and Skipperty and all of that. Um, but I, surely that wasn't the book that turned me into a reader. It was just one that really struck me. One of the books I finished most recently was Twisted Prey, John Sanford's amazing Lucas Davenport series. And I immediately, when I closed it, I immediately handed it to my husband because I, I knew he would love it. The School of Essential Ingredients that was recommended to me by my personal publicist and pal, Laura. She said, you will love it, and she was right. I would recommend any one of those books to anyone.